From the earliest centuries of Christianity, the Holy Father has sent out papal envoys. Today, the Holy See has diplomatic relations with more than 175 countries and international organizations such as the United Nations. Tonight, Susie Pinto introduces us to the Archbishop representing the Pope at the UN. Archbishop Bernardito Auza is very clear about what he thinks has guided him throughout his life. We believe in divine providence. <laughs> he says that divine plan began in his family of 12 children back in the Philippines. We always prayed together every evening. There was no evening in which the family didn't pray together and especially my mother would require everybody to attend. His first diplomatic post was Madagascar. Later, he'd serve in Bulgaria, Albania, and Haiti, where he witnessed death and destruction after a massive earthquake in 2010. The most important churches, the most historical churches were destroyed. Schools, hundreds of schools. We also lost uh, the Archbishop of Port-au-Prince, who died during the earthquake. People ask always why. And even the Holy Father said, you know, ask why, it's no normal. You uh, cry your prayer to God, cry your uh, protests even to God. Now Archbishop Auza is leading the Holy See's mission to the United Nations, which was formed in 1945 to promote peace and human rights. The Holy See is a permanent observer here at the United Nations, not a member state with voting rights. But that's something that Archbishop Auza sees as an advantage, not a drawback. Many countries who feel intimidated by this we might see rich and very powerful countries here uh, at the UN. We are able to, you know, to articulate certain positions that they themselves believe, but unfortunately they are not there. And that leads to some clashes, despite the Holy See agreeing with the UN's founding principles. In spite of the widely acknowledged uh, fundamental value of the family, the family is not among the sustainable development goals. Some people don't accept the family as a fundamental unit of society. Pope Francis, though, is making his job easier. Only problem, he can't keep up. Sometimes I don't even have, even before I talk uh, in the hall about the position of the Holy See, so many delegations already know what the Pope has said the day before. Stoking that interest is an exhibit at the UN on the manuscripts of Saint Francis. It could be setting the stage for a visit by the modern Francis in 2015. I am certain that the Pope has realized that, that this is an opportunity to address the UN. And since all the previous popes uh, before him, since uh, Paul VI, uh, uh, visited New York and addressed the, United, uh, the General Assembly. And what strikes him about Pope Francis? His attention and, you know, and, and his joy. I mean, you know, he's very funny. <laughs> Fittingly, there are traits this Vatican diplomat has in common with his boss. In New York, Susie Pinto, EW10 News Nightly. Thank you, Susie.